how we use this stuff. Alright, so yesterday we did substitution. Okay. So today let's hammer out some elimination. Okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to line up your equations. Okay? And actually, really, just like with regular old elimination, not only do you want to line up your equations, but you also want to set up the elimination. So you might have to multiply one equation by a number. You know, like we could multiply the bottom equation by negative 9 to get the, eliminate the x squared. You understand what I'm saying there? Okay. Or we could just line them up and say, oh, one's a plus y squared, one's a minus y squared. So how I would go about doing this is I would say, okay, so we've got 9x squared minus 90x plus y squared plus 216 equals zero. So I've got my x's grouped together, I've got my y's grouped together, and then I've got my numbers. Okay? Then my bottom equation uh, becomes positive x squared minus y squared minus 16 equals zero. So now I've got everything lined up. I've got x squareds in a column, X is in a column, Y squared is in a column, Y is in a column, numbers in a column, equals in a column, and everything else in a column. Okay? Yeah. So, now, elimination tells me that I am going to add those equations. If I add these equations, then my Y squared terms get eliminated. That's a good thing. <laughs> so that leaves me with 10x squared minus 90x plus 200 equals 0. Then we're going to solve that equation. What would you do to solve that equation? Divide everything by 10. Okay. So we'd get, whoops, I gotta go here. We'd get x squared minus 9x plus 20 equaling zero. One thing I forgot to mention, happy teacher appreciation day. Holidays too. You guys teach me just as much as I teach you. Now what? Then what? Okay, so x minus 4 <coughs> equals 0, so x is equal to 4. x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 5. Yes, one. So now we have to find our points, right? Okay. So which equation do you want to find the points in or with? The second one, x squared minus y squared minus 16 equals 0. Okay. So 
x squared minus y squared minus 16 equals 0 is my equation that I'm going to use. When x is 4, I get 16 minus y squared minus 16 equals 0. 16 minus 16, 0. So I get 0 equals y squared. So y has to be 0. Agree? So that yields me the point 4, comma, 0. Then, when x is 5, that gives me 25 minus y squared minus 16 equals 0. So that's going to be 9 equals y squared. So what is y? Plus or minus 3. So that yields me how many points? Two. One of them is the other one is okay. after we find our points, just like yesterday, what do we have to do? Check it in the the other equation. The other equation again was 9x squared. I can find it. There it is. I found it. 9x squared plus y squared minus 90x plus 216 equals 0. Okay. And my three potential points were 4 comma 0, 5 comma positive 3, 5 comma negative 3. So, just got to try them. 4 squared, 16 times 9. 144. 0 squared. 4 times 90. 144 minus 360 plus 216. 0. Zero. That one checks out. 5 comma positive 3. 5 squared. Times 9. 225. 3 squared. Uh, 5 times 90. 225 plus 9 minus 450 plus 216. Yes or no? Yep. Zero? That one checks out. Negative 3 is going to be the same thing because the only place that I have to put in a y is here and it gets squared. Right? So that one works out also. So all three of them are the answer.
So let's try and go about solving this one. If you haven't started a new piece of paper, start one. <coughs> first equation is x squared minus 32x minus y squared plus 128 equals 0. Second equation is negative x squared plus y squared minus 8y plus 8 equals 0. I like it. Got my x's grouped together. Got my y's grouped together. Okay. Add those two equations. What happens to my x squared? Cancels out. What happens to my y squared? Cancels out. Oh. So that leaves me with Negative 32x minus 8y plus 136 equals 0. So the question that I have on the board is, what happens when both squared terms get eliminated? So what do you want to solve it for? Solve for y? Okay. So if I solve for y, I'm going to get negative 32x plus 136 equals 8y. So that's going to be negative 4x plus 17 equals y. What? What do we do now? Where? Which one? There's two of them. Bottom one? Friendlier? I say top one. Okay. Okay, so a top one would be good because there's only one y squared. I would agree there. But the bottom one does look friendlier, right? Okay. Even though it's only you've got to put it in twice. So you kind of kind of you have to kind of weigh your options as to where you're gonna put it. Okay? I don't know. I don't know if there is really a good answer. You know? Which one do you guys want to do? Bottom? Bottom? Okay, let's do the bottom then. So we have y squared, which is now negative 4x <laughs> plus 17, minus x squared. Minus 8 times y plus 
plus 8 equals 0. I get 16x squared minus 136x what? plus 289 minus x squared plus 32x minus, I want to say, 136 plus 8 equals 0. 6 carry the 5 get 136. Collect like terms, yep. Okay. So I'm going with 15x squared minus 104x. One sixty one Because it's plus 161, I know that the signs have to be the same. Because it's minus 104x, I know that the signs are both negative. Okay. 3 times 23 is 69. 7 times 5 is 35. 69 plus 35 is 104. So there's our factor form. Okay. So... Five x minus twenty three equals zero. Five x is going to be twenty three. X is going to be twenty three fifths. Three x minus seven is going to be zero. Three x is going to be seven. X is going to be seven thirds. Now one the only reason I don't like I mean we could plug it into the line I suppose yeah yeah, yeah. And that's gonna suck if we screwed up because we're already <coughs> well into the problem right okay so let's uh, which one you want to plug it into
First one or second one? We want to do the first one because there's only one Y and we're solving for Y. Right? Okay? So we're going to go into the first one. So we're going to go into X squared minus Y squared minus 32X plus 128 equals 0. Plus the nice thing is we're not scared of fractions. We may not like them. But we're definitely not scared of them. Okay? So, 23 fifths. So that's going to be 23 fifths squared is what? Should be like 400 something. Over 25? 529? Okay. 32 times 23 fifths. Two times twenty three fifths. Five hundred and twenty nine twenty fifths. Minus 736 fifths plus 128. So we said 23 divided by 5 was our x. Okay. So then we said x squared minus 32x plus 128 gives me, I get 49.26. Yes? So that's y squared. Okay, what do we get? So you just seven fifths? Plus or minus. Plus or minus seven fifths. I know. So that gives us two points, right? So that gave us the points 23 fifths comma 7 fifths and 23 fifths comma negative 7 fifths. But now we got the other half, yeah, yeah, but this one's easier because it's smaller numbers. Okay. So now we've got 7 thirds. So that's going to be 49 ninths minus y squared, 32 times 7. Forty nine ninths minus two hundred twenty four thirds plus one hundred and twenty eight.
I get 529 ninths. So what's y then? Twenty-three thirds, plus or minus, right? So that's going to give us two points, seven thirds, comma twenty-three thirds, and seven thirds, comma negative twenty-three thirds. Right? Okay. So now we checked or we found all those points in that equation. So now we have to check all those points in the other equation. So my other equation is y squared minus x squared minus 8y plus 8 equals 0. And the four points that we have are 7 thirds comma plus or minus 23 thirds and 23 fifths comma plus or minus 7 fifths, right? Okay, so U4, check 7 thirds positive 23 thirds. U3, check 7 thirds negative 23 thirds. U2, have 23 fifths positive. U2, have 23 fifths negative. Okay, check them out. So that one doesn't work out on the check. What about your guys' point? You had the positive 23 thirds one, right? Works out? Works out? Didn't get yours to work out? Okay. Sam, did you get yours to work out? Okay. All right. It should work out. Okay. All right. Which one? You guys had the positive 7 fifths one, right? Works out? Not works out. Didn't work out? Did not work out? What about yours with the negative 7 fifths one? I got this one did not work out, and that one did. Okay? okay? So those two then, oops, wrong. These two work out. Okay? So it only meets in two points. You will also have a quiz on Thursday. Okay? If you um, are ready to turn in your book, you can start turning your book in at any point in time. Okay? You can bring them and we can start a pile of them somewhere here in the room. Um, if you are not ready to turn in your book, then you got to turn it in next week. Okay? But start bringing your books back. Next week.